Hi, it's Ahmed Salam here, and in this video, I'd like to focus on the problem with subincisional cortical uh, lens matter removal using coaxial IA. This case is operated initially by a resident. So the resident did so well, finishing most of the cortex, now working on the subincisional uh, cortex, and now there's a problem, mainly because not uh, engaging the cortical uh, lens matter well, and specifically not engaging them from the anterior aspect. The resin needs to tuck under the anterior capsule to engage the cortex. But what's happening here is that the resin is uh, tackling the cortex from the posterior aspect and that results in aspiration of the posterior capsule as you can see here and several stars are happening uh, which is a dangerous uh, situation. Now a senior uh, surgeon takes Hoover and let's see how he would tackle this. Uh, so first enough vacuum to engage the cortex. The surgeon is now trying to um, get the cortex out by tucking on the teen capsule, enough vacuum to peel off. Once the tip of the IA is facing the cornea and no longer facing downward, then the surgeon would step on the pedal. This is a very safe uh, position to remove the cortex. And again here, trying to tuck under the NT capsule to get the cortex out. And working on the sides of the 12 o'clock position gives a better access than working directly on the 12 o'clock position. Um, and here, moving to the side, tucking under the anti capsule, and then aspirating. And again, I think the subincisional cortex is one of the reasons why I uh, do not like personally the coaxial IA, and I prefer the bimanual IA, which is very ergonomic, and also you don't have the subincisional cortex problem. You can see here also something floating around. Uh, is that a desmet membrane uh, detachment or um, a remnant of the anti capsule? The senior surgeon operating felt that that uh, was only um, anti capsule remnant that was there and was not removed after the capsurexus, and that ended up to be the case. Uh, thank you so much for watching.